It is January in Alamo Heights ISD and I'm once again amazed that we have come so far so fast with the progression of our school year. The second semester is filled with activities and learning that propels our students to new levels of knowledge, understanding, and growth. One of our unique student experiences here that launches at the start of the school year and continues throughout the spring and even part of the summer begins right here in this classroom. This is the rocketry classroom at Alamo Heights High School and students who take the many levels of courses that feed into this program are literally taking learning to new heights. Welcome to this edition of On Location. I am Dana Beshera, your superintendent. This week, our Alamo Heights High School Rocketry program was awarded the National Banner by Systems Go for their successful Goddard level launch of their rocket 20,000 feet and for being the first group from our school to break the sound barrier. That's amazing. We are joined now by several of these rocketry student engineers to learn more. Last night was a really big night for the program because they received lots of accolades. Josh, I'd love to tell you to tell us a little bit about what those rec that w recognition was for. Well, our seniors last year got an award for going uh, 20,000 feet um, on their Goddard level launch, which is a really big deal. Um, just having a successful launch out there is a huge accomplishment, and it was really cool to see them last year um, work towards their goal and the leaders uh, bring up the rest of the team and get the rocket done, so that was really exciting. And it's fun this year, us being able to design a new rocket and stand on their designs and try to improve. That's great. And Emily, you were one of the students last night that was recognized being part of the student class that broke the sound barrier. Tell us a little bit about how that felt. It felt really good to be the first juniors to break the sound barrier um, from Elmo Heights. Um, and then watching the video back last night at the ceremony was really incredible. It, it it's interesting how you get just as stressed out watching the video as the day of the actual launch, but it was really fun. Must have been emotional. It was very <laughs> emotional. I can imagine, I can imagine. So Tate and Kate, I would love to hear a little bit about what you're gonna do with these skills next year. Both of you are seniors and they're moving on. I'd love to hear from you all. What are you gonna do with these skills? Well, uh, this class really helps you with your, your teamwork exercise, like the, mm -hmm. the team building exercises we do, like just working in this class is like a huge, like benefit to what we're going to be doing in the future. Mm -hmm. We're going to have so many more skills than, than anyone who is not in this class in terms of engineering programs where we can all work together to complete a goal with a large group of people. Um, this class allows you to be like so creative. You can just come in and design something and in a month you'll be able to build it and I can think of no other class that allows you to do that. It's amazing. Yeah. Kate, okay, let's hear from you. I mean, I would for sure agree with that. I mean, I've been a pro we've all been a member of this program for four years, and before joining, I never would have thought about pursuing anything in the STEM fields. But now that I'm here, like it's definitely impacted what I want to study in the future and like what kind of career I'd want to pursue. So I think it's really important in the fact that what Tate was saying, it teaches us like life skills and career skills, and we have gives us a leg up on the rest of the people. We're incredibly proud of these students and we have high expectations for what you're going to achieve next year in college and in your future. I'd love to invite your teacher, Mr. Lang, to join us here at the table. Love to hear what's in store second semester and in the future of this program. Well, thank you so much for including us in your, your, your show today. Uh, it's, it's an honor for to be here with you, but there's some very exciting things happening this year. Um, this group of students, they're, they're a pretty special group. I think that uh, we have really high expectations of what could happen this year and we are so far ahead of schedule. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Our nitrous oxide tank is already complete for the year and we normally don't get that done until after spring break and then test it and hydrostatic test it then. Wow. Uh, this will be the most sophisticated vehicle we've ever built. We have a nozzle that's being 3D printed by a company in Austin that's valued at over $20,000. And so we really need to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> so our recovery team is, uh, they've, got all, they've got their work cut out for them. But uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to White Sands. We're looking forward to getting the rocket done early. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, you know, <laughs> everything is just falling into place this year with uh, our design. And, and so it's, it's really exciting. Well, I get so excited every time I visit with you, every time I hear about the progress that you make. We're wishing you the best luck this summer with the launch. I'm hoping to join you all this yes, year. Please. I'm hoping to join you. Thank you for being part of this episode. Thank Congratulations you. on your accomplishments. We are also very excited about the new Rocketry program facility that we're in the process of designing for the program right now that will be housed in the new STEM building here at the high school thanks to community support for our bond election. Plans for that building can be found on our website very shortly. We will bring you this continuing story and more in our future editions of On Location. See you then.